Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Gasoline will sell at its lowest price in seven months come tomorrow. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for $2.93 less. Automotive diesel will decline by $1.90. Ultra-low sulfur diesel is down $2.12, while $2.14 will be shaved off the price of kerosene. Propane is down $2.34, while butane will sell for $2.77 less. Retailers will add their respective markups to these prices. Oil prices traded higher today. Oil for delivery in December went up by 77 cents to settle at $56 a barrel. Businesses are getting in line with the Bank of Jamaica's inflation projection. Based on the latest inflation expectation survey, the private sector expects inflation to end the year at 4.8%. This is notably lower than the August 2018 survey, which predicted an outturn of 5.1%. TVJ's Andrew Laidley has been going through the findings of the survey and now reports. For the first time in over eight months, businesses have tempered their expectation for inflation. This follows a year of lower than expected consumer prices. Inflation failed to fall within the Bank of Jamaica's target range of 4 to 6 percent for most of the year. Until now, businesses expected consumer prices to go up by 5.1 percent by the end of the year. But the Bank of Jamaica has reported that the island won't register that kind of increase until mid-2019. Local firms have now fallen in line with the central bank's projection with hopes of an increase of at least 4.8% by next month. Inflation is currently at 4.3%. It's an indication that the perception of inflation control has improved. Meanwhile, businesses also anticipate that the currency will remain relatively unchanged over the next three months, but they don't expect the appreciation of the dollar to last for long. In fact, the survey indicates that firms expect the dollar to start depreciating around April next year. And when quizzed about the sustainability of the dollar this morning at a post-cabinet press briefing, Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry of Finance, Favel Williams, admitted that the dollar could change direction at any time. Any day you wake up, it could move in three directions, right? It could appreciate, it could depreciate, or just stay stable for that day. So we have to get, get used to that. The foreign exchange market is just like any other market. Persons show up to the market to buy currency or sell currency. And depending on what happens that day, at the end of the day, the currency will have a value. Nevertheless, the present and future business conditions index continue to reflect higher levels of optimism relative to the previous survey. The Inflation Expectation Survey captures the perception of chief executive officers, managing directors, and financial controllers. For the Business Day, I'm Andrew Laidley. In currency trading, the greenback broke two weeks of appreciation for the Jamaican dollar today. The U.S. dollar ended the day selling for $126.85. The Canadian dollar closed at $95.51. The pound traded at $163.99, while the euro is going for $143.81 on average. The JSC index lost 127 points today, while the junior market index declined by 32 points. Among the winners were Carib Cement, Fosrich, General Accident Insurance, Jamaica Producers, KLE Group, Lasco Manufacturing, Main Event Entertainment and Portland JSX. On the losing side were AMG Packaging and Paper, Barita Investments, Caribbean Cream, Elite Diagnostic, Grace Kennedy, Honeybun, Indies Pharma, Jamaica Broilers, and Kingston Properties. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.